Hi ladies, it's Dawn. Welcome back to my channel. So before I start this video, I just wanted to say that I'm sure many of you are reeling with the tragedy of what happened this week with a shooter murdering children and teachers and staff at a school in Texas. And it's just like the most heartbreaking news. And it's got me, and I'm sure you, bummed out. And I've just been feeling in a funk at the end of the week. I've just been feeling really out of it and losing some motivation, but I'm trying to stay optimistic. I tend to be an optimistic person, but sometimes when a lot of things pile up at once or I focus too much on negative, negative things, negative energy, it really gets me down. So I've just been praying a lot for everyone involved in that Texas massacre. And I've been reading some free books on my Kindle. I get free books. I'm sure all of you do too. If you have the Kindle app, they offer you free books from time to time. And I've been reading some free books. Some of them have been pretty good, surprisingly. I always worry that those free books are going to be just kind of like, oh, well, they're free. So can they be any good? But some of them have been pretty good. Good. And I've just been trying to surround myself with some positivity. I've been trying some new recipes. I've been reading a little bit more and just changing up my routine to not watch as much news and focus on positive things. So I wish all of you the best coping with bad news that seems to be never ending. And if you have something that is really helpful for you in coping, let us all know down in the comment section. We can all benefit from each other. Like I said, for me, it's getting out and taking walks or doing some yoga. Um, also, um, just going for drives with my sons. They both like to listen to music and drive, so I'll ask them to take me on an errand and um, we'll go for a drive and I can kind of talk to them when I want in the car. So kind of um, like for my kids, I have to employ some strategies. <laughs> it's not like a girlfriend where you can just invite them out to lunch with my teenage boys, I have to um, trick them <laughs> into taking me somewhere. And then they're like a captive audience and we can spend some time doing that. I just have to kind of nail them down. And um, what else? Um, well, we've had some sunny days. So just like I said, getting outside, I love watching birds and things like that. So anyways, I'm getting way too gabby and off topic. I am on time with my monthly favorites for the first time in months. Usually I do my monthly favorites like two weeks into the next month, but it's the end of May and I have some monthly favorites. For I'm gonna get started and I have a couple skincare items. I have um, some fashion and I have just a bunch of little goodies for you. So let's just jump in and get started. I'm going to start with a couple of fashion items and the items I wanna share with you are what they call like um, athletic dresses. They're yoga dresses. Um, casual summer dresses. You can throw them on over a bathing suit. You can throw them on over regular, like your undergarments and wear them to be a little bit dressed up during the day. You can make them more casual by wearing some Birkenstocks or flip-flops or even a shoe with a little bit of a heel from transition for transitioning from day to evening. And the first dress I want to share with you is from a company called Toad & Co. I did also share with you recently a jumpsuit that I have from this company in a recent video. And I just love this brand. You will purchase an item and you will have it for years and years and years. They're machine washable. I never throw them in the dryer, although you can put them in a low setting and tumble dry, but I don't. I hang them to dry. And this is the Q wrap dress and this is what it looks like. And it's not a true wrap dress where when you untie it, it comes open and you wrap it. Rather, it just has this tie on the side and you can wrap that around the dress. I like that because some wrap dresses, you know, you worry that if it comes untied or something, you might be exposing yourself, but there's no, no fear of that. And it comes in several different patterns. And this particular dress is a little bit low cut. And so that leads me to the next item. I have these bras that I wear. They're kind of like sports bras, 
Um, they don't give you as much support as like a true sports bra that you would buy from Dick's Sporting Goods or REI or something like that from Nike or, uh, you know, Reebok or something like that. Rather, they're a little more delicate than that, but they are wonderful. I am fairly large breasted and they give me enough support. They really hold me in and I'm wearing one right now because this is a little low cut and you can see it right here. And I order them either from Walmart or these I ordered from Amazon. It was time to replace them. And I've been wearing these ever since I was nursing children because they made great nursing bras too. I could slip a nursing pad in them when I was breastfeeding my children. And that's how I found out about these, but I've been wearing them ever since. And they're not made for nursing, but they're really great for that. So if you have anybody you know who's nursing or if you're nursing yourself, you might wanna consider these. They're from Lily of France and Walmart does carry this brand. And they come in packs of two. And I have a new black one, a new white one. And then I have another pack with a gray and a white one. And then I have another pack. I'm wearing the white one. And then it has this like pinky rosy color. Sometimes I'll even just sleep in them and wear pajama bottoms. They do have removable modesty pads inside of them and they're not expensive at all i did purchase all of these from amazon they came the following day so i ordered them like two days ago received them yesterday and i'm showing them to you today and like i said i've been wearing them for years so i have some ratty ones still floating around and i'm going to get rid of those and these are replacements but they do last a very long time i'm gonna change very quickly into another dress that i want to share with you so i'll be right back Okay, this dress that I'm wearing right now is from Prana Yoga, and I love Prana Yoga dresses. I've been wearing them for as long as I can remember, and I actually got a lot of the ladies in the neighborhood wearing these dresses as well because I get so many compliments on them. People ask me where I, I purchased them, and then they get them, and so we're all walking around like a little tribe of women wearing Prana Yoga dresses. They're made out of this great material that isn't quite swimsuit material, but almost. It's not like a true cotton. It's like a spandex with probably cotton or rayon or something in it, but it feels a little bit like um, a bathing suit material, but it's not shiny like a bathing suit material. And they really hold you in. They have built-in bras. They have so many cute patterns and designs. I have so many retired dresses that I wear in videos from time to time in the summer because you will never wear these out. And again, they're great for throwing on over a bathing suit, wearing just during the day with some flip-flops, maybe changing into a nicer pair of shoes at the end of the day and taking it into the evening. And they are wonderful. They're even like great for hiking in if you want to wear a sundress hiking. And this one is called the Pearl Isle Dress and I'll link it. And mine is in the shade Faded Puppy. And let me show you. You could wear one of those little bralettes from Lily of France with this one too, but it has a built-in bra, so I didn't and this is what it looks like it does have a little ruching here I don't know if you could see that like it's not tight and um, I don't know it's just a very forgiving dress if you feel like you're bloated or, you know, if you, you don't like that area of your body to have anything tight adhering to it, it's very forgiving right there. And I think it's such a beautiful dress. So I wanted to share this with you. The next item is something that I love so much. I purchased these last summer and I wore them all last summer. They held up beautifully. I need to clean them up a little bit, so I'm sorry that I'm gonna show you my shoes that, <clears throat> excuse me, that aren't brand new, but you can still purchase the color combination that I have, so I wanted to share these with you while it's still available in case this is the color combination that you would like. And they are the Birkenstock Madrid, big buckle sandals, and they are made of nubuck rather than the oiled leather that some are made out of or that more um, suede material that some Birkenstocks are made out of. I feel that they're a little bit dressier and they look so cute with jeans 
any kind of pants, even yoga pants. Um, they look great with dresses, shorts. You'll wear, you'll wear them everywhere. And they're designed to feel as if you're standing in sand. They really cradle your foot and give you good support in your arch. Even though they look flat, they're designed you know, with some good arch support, which is something I really need. And they do have a cork and latex footbed. Like I said, it's Nubak here, and my color is almond. And then I have a tortoise shell buckle here. And again, I apologize that mine are a little bit yeah, dirty. Like to clean these is take a brush like you would use for your nails to clean your nails and I brush it, any dirt off of it. It seems to really do a great job and then I can clean them up very easily. And I, I did that last summer a couple of times and I need to do it again. So I just have been wearing these again for like the past couple of weeks and loving them just as much as the first summer. And they really held up. So you can get several years of wear. And I wore these to death. I wore them on vacations. I wore them on long walks. You can stand all day in these and it's worth the investment. Okay, the next item is a new purchase from TJ Maxx and I paid $19.99 for this and it's from the brand Ashley Vintage Charm. Yes, Ashley Vintage Charm. And it's a denim jacket. It doesn't have any stretch to it, which I typically like in a denim jacket. I usually like my denim jackets to have a little bit of stretch, but this one doesn't, but I love it anyway because it's a little bit baggy. I'm gonna show you why I think this one is special. Well, first of all, the price made it special. And then it's got like these baggy sleeves that are like raw, like kind of, um, what do they call that? When you, there's a name for it, um, frayed at the ends and you can fold this up as much as you'd like to and then it's just kind of a loose fitting jacket and the hem along the bottom is this called the hem or the waistline is also jagged ragged frayed and i think it's really cute over a sundress or anything that you would wear in the summer. It's really handy just to have a denim jacket and you'll wear it all the time in the summer months. In the evening when it gets cooler or when you go into restaurants and the air conditioning is on, it'll keep you really warm and it looks adorable with your dress and your Birkenstocks. So that's the last no, I have one more fashion item to share with you. Hang on. The next thing I want to share with you is a handbag. And I do have my glasses on because I took some notes. And the brand is The Sack. And I'm sure you've probably all heard of The Sack. They've been around for years and years. And I've owned many of their bags. And they hold up very well. Some of their bags are woven bags. And they don't utilize any leather or animal products to create those bags. And they do have leather bags, but the leather that they use is sustainably sourced. So much so that the SAC has been awarded B Corp status. And B Corp status is awarded to companies that withhold the highest standards in sustainability and ethical practices. So that says a lot about the company, they, if you check out their website, they donate so much of their proceeds to restoring wetlands and oceans and helping women in foreign countries, you know, create products that they would use to sell their handbags. I hope that makes sense. I could have said that better, but I hope you understand what I'm saying. But they're really a great company and it's worth supporting this company. And in fact, I did reach out to them and I have a discount code. And if you utilize my discount code, you can save money on your products if you purchase any from the SAC. Now this bag I've had for over a year now, and this is the Los Feliz Tote. And it looks like this. And this is the unlined version. So as you can see, it's a little bit floppy. Very casual. It doesn't have hardware on it, but it's got these sturdy straps. This is very squishy and comfortable on my shoulder, no matter how much I'm carrying in this bag. It has this adorable little bobble here that just adds 
just something nice to it. It makes it match more of my clothes. And I, I just think it's adorable. It does not have feet on the bottom, so I don't throw this down on the floor because I do have mine in a light color. But it's very, very well made. None of the stitching is loose. Everything is holding up very well. And like I said, I've had this probably maybe one or two summers already. And this is the unlined version. So it just has the leather backing like suede on this side. And it's one large compartment. And then it has a small zip pouch here. I do use an organizer with this bag because when I put my organizer in, it gives it a little more structure. And I will link my organizer. It's just a cheapie from Amazon, but it does lend a lot of structure to this bag so that way when I'm carrying heavier objects it doesn't just hang too much like all in the middle and I can keep my contents a little more organized. So this is in the shade Stone and this bag does also include a snap closure so it doesn't zip or anything like that but when you're carrying it on your arm nobody can really get into it and it is snapped close, closed. The next bag is the same bag in a different color, but this one has a lining and it's more structured and it's recommended for those of you who would like to carry a laptop or heavier contents like that. It is a sturdier bag. Um, and I have this one, I believe the shade is Dusty Meadow. Again, everything else is exactly the same except the, the color of the leather and this one has the snap closure and it's lined and this is the bag I'm currently using and the lining is so nice it's made from recyclable materials including plastic bottles and like I said everything's sustainable I do find this bag to be easier to carry because it's more structured and I don't use um, my insert in this bag rather I carry pouches to just keep my contents separated and know what's in each little pouch that I have. If you'd like to see a what's in my handbag video, I'll be happy to do one for you. But this this one is also the Las Feliz large tote and my color is Dusty Meadow. I wasn't sure if I should purchase this one or Buttercup, which is a soft yellow. I'm trying so hard not to purchase that one too. If I do, it will have to be next summer because Two summers ago, I purchased Stone. This summer, I purchased Dusty Meadow. And maybe when I'll donate Stone or sell Stone next summer and purchase Buttercup, which is so pretty. Definitely wanted to tell you about that company because I think it's worth supporting. The bags will last you for years and years. Eco-friendly, cruelty-free. They're even PETA certified, which kind of surprised me because they have leather. And I thought you can't utilize any animal materials, but if you check out the SAC website, they have certifications from a lot of different environmental groups and PETA was one of them. So if you know anything more about that, you can let us all know down in the comment section. But I really thought that anytime animal materials are used, it couldn't be certified from PETA. But maybe that's only because the methods they use are cruelty-free to create their bags. I'm not sure. So the next two items are skincare items that I love so much. Because I'm 53 years old and in the process of menopause, I have some dry skin and I also use retinol or Trentinoin so my skin can get dry. And I also like to use moisture on my skin, but I have to be careful because I have combination skin with an oily T-zone. So I'm always trying to find that balance of hydrating and moisturizing my skin with products that won't break me out, but also reaching a level of moisturization that keeps my skin really plump and juicy and radiant. And I found something that I absolutely love. It's from La Roche-Posay and it's the Hyalu B5 Serum. This contains pantothenic acid, which is like um, panthenol that you find in skincare products and hair care products, but it's a more pure form. And it also has two different types of hyaluronic acid and other nourishing ingredients in it. And I've been going through this stuff so much. I've been using it day and night. I like the moisture surge from Clinique as well, but this is even more hydrating than that. And I 
pair it with the thermal water. And this has thermal water from France, apparently, in it. But Dr. Dre did talk about this, and she said that it has a lot of minerals and antioxidants in the kind of bacteria that you need for your skin's biome to, you know, like a prebiotic type of um type of bacteria in it and it's really nourishing to your skin so i've been spraying this on my skin adding up this four drops of this to whatever serum i'm using day and night and then applying it on my skin and i feel like my skin has been really really good i haven't been breaking out it plays so well underneath makeup it does feel slightly tacky when you first apply it, but once it dries down, you can't tell it's there anymore. But when I first tried it, I thought, oh, is this gonna stay a little bit sticky? And I wasn't sure if I'd like that, but it doesn't. It doesn't stay sticky at all. And it really nourishes my skin and it never breaks me out. So if you haven't tried these two products from La Roche-Posay, try them. I am also in the process of trying several other products, but um, these are the winners this month for sure. Okay, the next product is from Origins, and it is the Ginger Essence. This has been around for the, at least the past 30 years. I wore this when my husband and I were dating. This was like my fragrance, and he loves it because it reminds him of the fragrance that I always wore. I got away from it for a long time, like in my 40s, and I recently repurchased this, the body gel for the shower, and I have a body cream and another one to carry in my purse because this really lasts longer when you layer it. So I like to layer it over the ginger souffle. You can buy this in a little tub similar to this, but I like to just pick up these little hand creams because the only reason I want this all over my body is the places where I want my fragrance to really last and it does a great job. And this is a spicy ginger scent. It won't be for everyone because I really like spicy scents that um, are sort of like unisex, maybe a little gourmand. Those are the scents that I go for, like Coco Chanel, not Coco Mademoiselle, but the just straight up Coco Chanel is a favorite of mine as well. And this has um, spicy ginger, bergamot and lemon lime, and it creates the perfect balance of warm and cool scents. A yin and a yang is the way they describe it on the website. Origins is a clean beauty brand, and it's free of phthalates, sulfates, formaldehyde, parabens, and all that yucky stuff that you don't want in your products. It doesn't have any of that. It's just a really lovely fragrance, and I love it on summer days. It's just so fresh. It's not florally. It's not sweet. It's just a little bit spicy and sensual. And if you like those kinds of scents, you'll really like this. So give it a try. And if you do, I would recommend picking up um, either the lotion. I also have the lotion. <laughs> I keep this at my bedside at night. And I, you can pair it with the lotion and spray a little bit of this and you will have a long lasting fragrance. So I think I'm going to go ahead and stop this here. I had quite a few products and it took a little bit longer than I thought it would. My monthly favorites, if you recall, are always giveaways and i have something to give away to one of you and it is the bag that i shared with you in a smaller version so this is the sac las feliz small tote and this one is brand new and it's not quite as big as the one that i shared with you mine is 15 inches across and i think it's like 12 this way this one is 13 and nine and it also doesn't have any hardware it has the little bubbles i think it's in black and tan like mine and it doesn't have feet it does have the cushy handle and the inside is exactly the same it, it this is the unaligned version but it does have like a nice little platform down here to keep its shape and it's got a zipper pouch that you can zip items into and then also a slip pocket for your phone. And I'll show you what this one looks like. I didn't want to take the tags off of it. They also have a Las Feliz um, shoulder bag or hobo bag, and that's different than this one. So if you look on the SAC website, they have the Las Feliz large tote, what I have, Las Feliz small tote, and there's a Las Feliz 
hobo bag just so you can keep them all straight and this is a navy and tan i thought that this would be a practical size and color for most of you so i wanted to send this to one of you unfortunately this particular get a giveaway is only in the continental united states because it costs quite a bit to send larger packages overseas so i'm keeping this limited to the continental us but don't worry i'll have other giveaways coming up that are really good as well and everybody can enter those um, but if you'd like to enter it just say sustainable somewhere in your comment and i'll know that you want to be entered in the giveaway and 10 days after this video goes up i will announce the winner in another video and i will put the winner in the description box and the first pinned comment and it will be your job to come back and check to see if you want you also have to be a subscriber like my video and it really helps if you're someone who normally kind of come I, i've seen your name before especially when i'm giving away something nice like this um you know everything i give away i think is nice but you know what i mean um so anyway if you'd like to enter that giveaway sustainable is the word you need to say and 10 days from now i will announce the winner and i will ship this beautiful handbag off to one of you and if you don't win don't fret there will be more giveaways coming up and thank you for spending some time with me if you have a favorite from the month of may please let us know down in the description box as well we love learning about great products from each other and i hope you have a blessed and beautiful day i'll see you next time